Okay, June 2009, the question one on the M1 paper looks something like this. So we've got three posts on a road and you've got various different pieces of information. Let's just get a quick little diagram just to kind of get ourselves know what we're doing. So if we have we say P was here, Q was somewhere here, and we know we don't know exactly it's in the middle. Um, so let's put it here. And then we know R is at the end. Now we know the distances for these two things, so we know the distance from here to here is 45 meters. I'll label that in a sec. And here to here is 120. So that's 45 meters. And from here to here, from here to here is 120 meters. Okay, if we consider the well, the acceleration in this direction, we call it A, and if we consider right as positive as well, we know at t equals naught, it passes here. At t equals two, it passes Q. And four seconds after that, so at t equals six, up to four further seconds, it gets there. Now, we know it passes here with an initial velocity, it's going to pass here with some speed, and it's going to pass here with another speed. Okay, so it just kind of gets an idea of what's going on. Um, we want to find the value of u, so it's initial and we want to find out the value of A, this acceleration. So if we consider from P to Q only, if we consider the distance P to Q, we can set up a SUVA as follows. So we set up the distance from P to Q is 45. Initial speed is U, we don't know. Um, final velocity, we don't know. Acceleration is A, and we know that the time here is 2. So if we pretended we, uh, well, you can see these are the two things we want to find, U and A. So if we find an expression that hasn't got V in, so basically if we consider S equals UT plus a half AT squared, put in what we have got, we got 45 equals 2u plus 2a. So 2 squared is 4, divided by 2 is 2, 2 times a. And we'll call this equation number 1. If we consider the journey from p all the way to r, that might help us see what we've got here. We know the total distance is uh, 165, adding 45 and 120 together. Again, we know the initial or the velocity at p, we can just call that u. We don't know its final velocity. The acceleration is a we want to find, and the time it took to get all that distance is 6. So again, if we use s equals ut plus a half a t squared, and this is a bit mean for the first question, I think, but nevertheless, we'll, we'll press it there. We find out that 165 is equal to 6u 6u plus 18a. Let's call this equation number 2. So we've got two simultaneous equations. We've got two unknowns, u and a, and let's set this up. So, well, if we triple 1, if we triple 1, well, let's write it out again. So we get 2 is 165 is equal to 6u plus 18a, and if we triple, if we do 3 times 1, we get this, we get 135 is equal to 6u plus 6a. Now if we just do great brig subtraction, do one, the top one take away the bottom one, we get the equation 30 is equal to 12a, which gives us the a is 2.5 ms minus 
2. Now we didn't want to find that one first, but we, we've done it. We can just easily substitute this back in, so let's substitute it back into 1, because that looks the easiest. Substitute into 1, and what do we get? We get 45 is equal to 2u plus 5, so we know, rearranging that, we know that u must be 20 ms minus 1, and that's our answer for u, so we can now find that. I think this is a bit of a mean question, asking you to do two simultaneous equations. Usually, you have enough information that you find one answer for this, for the first part, and then you use that piece of information to follow it through for the second. In this case, they didn't ask you to do that, but they asked you to solve both simultaneously. Okay.